been a long day. You know, like, what if I can be able to create my own universe? That'll be amazing. Gotcha. Ooh, this is just part of the lucky girl. Alright, welcome, welcome young makers of the universe. Hope you all enjoyed the clip of my takeoff into the little bit of the universe. No pun intended there, but my name is Calvin, and you can call me Cal for short. I'm a community pro leader for the Little Bits community. Woo! Definitely excited about this opportunity to be able to share my inventions and creations with the world. For the remainder of this video, I'll give you a quick explanation and a demonstration of the entire project. From the headquarters, to the lifting mechanism, to the background of the project. So with that being said, let's dive straight into it. Here we have the headquarters, which is basically the command station for the entire project. We have a total of six different inputs and three of those inputs are transmitted through the wireless transmitter of the project to the receiving end of the project through the wireless receiver. The first input we'll talk about is the IR blaster. Basically I have a remote control embedded inside my tablet, my Samsung Galaxy Note tablet, and I can be able to control different infrared devices such as a television or in this case the new remote trigger that's included in the space kit. On the second input we have the universe and what I mean by universe is the little bit planet. The third input we have is the scent kit. The fourth input is the takeoff. The fifth input is the microphone bit and the sixth input is the countdown which is I use the number bit to imitate a countdown. So you see how the cloud just turned off. Let's say if I press a button on my tablet the clouds will turn back on. If I press it again, it'll turn off. But we're going to continue to the receiving portion of the circuit. Alright, so here's the receiving portion of the project. We have the wireless receiver here that receives three input signals from the wireless transmitter on the headquarters side of the project. And on the first channel, we have two DC motors that's connected together as a pulley system to lift up the space shuttle a little bit. On the second channel, we have the rest of the scent kit that we use to make music, like something like that. But <laughs> I'm going to use some different tone to be able to generate different music at the end of this project. On the third channel, we have the servo bit that is connected to the little bit planet, and that's used to rotate the planet back and forth. And we also use the light wire, well, posting light wire to post different rings around the planet. So, with that being said, we'll move on. We have made it to the most exciting portion of this project. Ooh! And I do not mean that literally. This was the most time consuming portion of this project. <laughs> it took a while to get all the optical fibers inside the board. But as a result, it was well worth the time. Uh, we have different constellations. We have the Pisces and Aries constellation to the left. We have the Virgo and different heart constellations to the right. And the middle constellation is the Little Bits Universe constellation. It's very, very, very cool. They're all controlled by an Arduino here. I love this little buddy there. And on the bottom portion of the project board is the beginning of the cloud circuit. So I will flip to the other side and be able to look at everything. As for the clouds, I used a double end gate to post the bar graph for the main cloud from two pulsing inputs to the smaller clouds. So if I press a button, the lightning clouds will come on. And once I press a button again, the lightning clouds will turn off. Let's get ready for takeoff. Of all the vehicle's critical functions, T minus 17 seconds in the encounter. 15, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 